Multiple powerful earthquake hit southern Turkey and northern Syria on Monday. The first 7.8 magnitude quake struck before dawn on a rainy and snowy night. The U.S. Geological Survey said quake was centered about 33 kilometers from Gaziantep, about 26 kilometers from the town of Nagano. It was felt as far away as Cairo, Cyprus, Lebanon, and even in Greenland and Denmark. Hours later, a second earthquake of magnitude 7.6 struck southeastern Turkey's Karamanmaras region. It occurred at a depth of 7 kilometers, and the epicenter of the quake was Elbistan region of Karamanmaras province. The earthquake of magnitude 6.0 struck central Turkey later in the evening. An initial Turkish assessment estimated that 6,217 buildings had been destroyed across the affected areas. In addition, 224 buildings in northwestern Syria were destroyed and at least 325 were damaged, including eight warehouses. Monday's quake is believed to be the strongest to hit Turkey since 1939. Earthquakes of this magnitude are rare, with fewer than five occurring each year on average, anywhere in the world. A major earthquake struck Turkey and Syria on Monday, flattening thousands of buildings. Dozens of nations pledged aid after the 7.8 magnitude quake, which hit as people were still sleeping, and amid freezing weather that has hampered emergency efforts. The quake, which was centered on Turkey's southeastern province of Karamanmaris, sent residents of Damascus and Beirut rushing into the street, and was felt as far away as Cairo. Multi-story apartment buildings full of residents were among the 5,600 structures reduced to rubble in Turkey, while well, Syria announced dozens of collapses, as well as damage to archaeological sites in Aleppo. Monday's first earthquake struck at 4.17 a.m. at a depth of about 18 kilometers near the Turkish city of Gaziantep, which is home to around 2 million people. The initial quake was followed by dozens of immediate shocks, including a 7.5 magnitude tremor in Jolteful region in the middle of search and rescue work. Denmark's Geological Institute said tremors reached the east coast of Greenland about eight minutes after the main quake struck Turkey. Despite temperatures falling below zero, frightened residents in the city were preparing to spend the night on the streets, huddling around fires for warmth. The European Union has activated its crisis response mechanism in order to coordinate with lock support measures to Turkey and Syria quicker after earthquakes. So far, there are more than 20,000 rescue personnel working in the earthquake region for recovery efforts. The total death toll from the earthquakes has already... Oh, my God.